good evening earthly virgo if you are new to the channel thank you very much if you have been purchasing my ten dollar 15 minute reading you have been keeping me quite busy and i appreciate that i hope you all are enjoying your readings um this reading will go on until the end of july so if you're interested you'll be able to uh purchase that reading the information is below and it's also going to be on a link in this reading so you can look at the um the video that's explaining to you how my freestyle reading works because i'm still getting people emailing me asking me how to uh, asking me about the freestyle reading and uh, they're asking questions the freestyle reading for me is not a question based reading it's reading your energy and your energy alone i don't need you to to tell me anything i don't need you to ask me any questions it's just whatever i pick up on okay so thank you all for your support i'm going to do a final reading for you tonight i'm done for i'm done i'm done reading for tonight because nikki knows her limit I'm going to get done with this reading for you all. I'm going to take me a spiritual bath, order me a pizza, and watch a movie. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Virgos, what do you need to know? Virgos, what do you need to know? Okay. Wow. Four of Wands. What do you need to know? Can't trust everybody in your house. How about them apples? Okay, it's like people are saying some hurtful things to you. Um, making sure, it's like they're making your home unstable, making your living situation, you know, pure hell, okay? And it's like, well, you know, maybe they're living with you or something or bunking on your couch or something and they're offering you money to live there, but you're like, damn, you know, we're not getting along. You think you can say anything you want to me because you live in here or, or maybe you're living with somebody and, and they say anything, they're, they're saying stuff to you, Virgo, that's kind of hurtful, but, but you need them at the moment. So you kind of have to let that slide off your shoulders and just deal with it until you can do better. You know, some, it's like somebody's giving you something, but is it, is it, is it worth it for them to, to, to talk down to you? The Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and somebody's in their feelings about something. Somebody, you want to leave a situation or someone wants to leave you just so they can be happier. You know, it, it's like because whatever it is that they're saying to you, they, they dig deep. You know, they fight dirty with their words and you're done. You know, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to listen to what the fuck I say. I'm a Virgo. I'm a, I don't have to listen to shit. Get the hell out of my face and let me go. All right. Before you get drop kicked. Got the hair off bent. You've been hurt a lot in your life. Um, your, your, your higher self really, really wants you to be calm, cool, and collected. And stop letting so many things hurt you and get to you. Okay, because you, you, it's like you, you think of so much about the, the brokenness in your life and the things that have taken place in your life. We have the devil card. Uh, doing too much of something. Okay, having some bad habits, right now. Having some bad habits. And two, one of your habits is not trusting people. People see you. People see your good heart coming their way. You know, if I don't care if you five or ten miles away, they can sense your energy coming toward them. So it's a lot of people. And two, if you got somebody living in your house, Virgo, or it don't it don't have to be people. It's people coming to your house, visiting your house. There's some sort of argument, some sort of corruption here, not getting along with somebody here. But there's somebody stealing from you. Mm -hmm. This person probably has been locked up before, or is on their way to jail for stealing. And somebody steals your glory and your joy as well, only if you let them. But you got a thief around you. Somebody's stealing you blind. They're stealing from you little by little, and you may not notice it. But then you say, I left something. I thought I left something right there, but it's gone. How come it's not here? How come it's not there? You left something laying down there, all of a sudden it's gone. Two, make sure you watch what's on that damn desk at work. Somebody can come and sweep off your change, your, your lunch money or something if you have it on your desk. We have the world and we got the Ace of Cups. This is saying you're evolving in your life. <clears throat> you are choosing to let go of what no longer serves you in your life. Letting go of, of, of uh, people who come into your life to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh, because you don't need it in your life. So you're choosing to let it go. 
You don't have to deal with it. If you don't like me, if you don't like what the hell I say, or I do get the hell out of my life, I don't need you. Okay, Virgo. Give me some final messages for Earthlies. Let go of the old. But if it no longer serves you, you got to let it go. If it no longer serves you, Virgo, you got to let it go. Surrender to the flow. <clears throat> Embrace spirit. See yourself in nature, getting out and enjoying yourself more. And don't be a hermit. Get out there and breathe in that fresh air. Okay. <laughs> Somebody needs to, to somebody needs to shave their bush, whatever that means to you, Virgo. Or shave from under your arms. Embrace the dark. Some of you have a dark side, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because some of you uh, people think that you're a, that you that you hide behind dark clothes or that that there's a dark energy about you, but that's that's just who you are. But that's not a bad thing. Embrace it. Embrace your weirdness. Okay. Embrace uh, your eccentric, eccentricity, if that how you, you're very, very eccentric, okay? Embrace the masculine. I don't care if you're a male or a female. Embrace that shit. Embrace who you are, all right? Okay, give me one final card for Virgos, please. There's a lesson that you need to, need to learn in your life. You need to let go of that past or whatever lesson that you pulled from a relationship that no longer served from you, let it go, okay? And let two become one. Let two become one. Let that person into your life when the time is right. When you feel for this person, they're going to feel for you and it's going to be equal give and take. I'm hearing Tony Braxton's song, Let It Flow, Let It Go, because I nobody want no two-time loser. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for your support. This is it for me tonight. I'll be back tomorrow for more readings as well as more personal readings. Thank you so much again for your support, you all. I love you all so very much. Thank you, and I'll talk to you later.